There is nothing more unpredictable than human nature. Gwen believed we were doing the right thing, not getting involved with the settlers' battle. And at first, so did I. But when I saw the Wayfarer in, I had a change of heart. Now I see why you get into such trouble, Russell. But Barrett was one step ahead of me. You get your kid to surrender, or I arrest you for obstruction of justice. Oh, no, right, okay. I'll try, I'll try. My hope was that once locals saw Barrett was out of control, they would revoke whatever authority they'd given him. I told Barrett people were gonna get hurt or killed, including him and his men, if he pushed this any further. <laughs> but just like Kale, Barrett wasn't about to back down. You should have run while you had the chance. Let him go. You got spunk, Missy, but you gonna get your pretty self killed. Ditto. You people hired me and my boys to protect you. Make this area safe. Ask Gavin Webster if he's safe. Dragged from his home, threatened with arrest, unless he helps hunt down his own son? That's not protection. That's fascism. I told them that they'd set this situation in motion, and it was up to them to stop it. But Kale had other plans. It said it was their fight, not mine. Returning most of what he'd stolen, Kale promised from here on out to trade with the locals for supplies. We don't want your tainted goods, and we don't want freaks like you. We aren't freaks. We're just different. You freak! It began with Gavin. His change of heart started a chain reaction. And with their amazing new energy source, it became clear there was nothing that community couldn't accomplish if they worked together. For Gwen and I, it was another adventure that brought us closer together. But deep in the jungle that used to be the Arizona desert, we were about to encounter something that would ultimately tear us apart.